sleepy. Oh, a little bit sleepy. Okay, sorry. Yeah, uh, I've got yeah. coffee. I'm, I'm gonna stay away. Nice. Yeah. Uh, you better um, wait for the second. Let me like um. Look at uh, look at what I'm um, here. And so oh, welcome back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It took longer than a, a second, though. <laughs> so that will never happen again. Yeah, yeah. I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> I'm joking. Why? <laughs> it is not All right. So um, I will like uh, copy the link and I will upload to our Facebook page. Yeah, right now to make sure people can go join the link through um, Facebook post and then easily to and get here. All right, so uh, Prado Dong, we have like uh, five minutes left to begin our topic, and you will control the whole uh, meeting. And actually, I, Sister Q, and Prado uh, Kenneth uh, is going to be guest speaker today. And God. others, yeah, it's going to be Pastor Pants during this meeting. All right, cool. But I already recorded, okay? So hopefully, yeah, uh, you guys need to be prepared, check it out what's going on, and make sure that you are ready, right? I'm never ready. Let's do this. <laughs> Okay, no, we're ready. Right. True. Um, Prada Dom, can can you copy the link, guys? You can can you share the link to the group, our group right now? Like the link uh, we actually recording uh, right now. Yeah, yeah. Share the link right now because I'm uh, I don't know. Yeah. Share share it now. Fine. Well, look at your face. I, I, I use my phone, so it's hard. Oh, look at the other thumb, please. I think right. you've got a big right. thing. What's the thumb with my face? It's the same. Come on. <laughs> Um, sometimes it's slow, and it's why I make your face look funny. <laughs> you just look at <laughs> my face. I don't think that. Okay, I brought it to you. So, um, you, you invite me to click on the link. Which, which one, please? No, no, no. I, I, I got it already, okay? Just wait like uh, eight, uh, ten. Eight, eight, ten. Eight, ten. You're going to begin, all right? But let me do a little bit thing on Facebook page right now. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's okay, guys. Keep, 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 uh, stay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Sure, sure. Wait, great, I great for a second. Look, 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 look. Okay. So we are on Facebook Live as well, right? Oh. It's so to get the book loading something. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, we will, um, we, we have a uh, live today. You will let me to summary it again. Official, yeah, official page. Just for that, I will let you Pardon me? I think that's a cute face, so cute. Thank you. I and for that I love you to so sing. No, I, I mean oh. she loved to take note. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> she look what you do for, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. No, no. I mean, so we 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 have um almost twenty uh, twenty participants here. So um yeah. You know, yeah. Where to hear that? Right. 21 if you count the cat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> she's so cute. Look at it. What is he or her name? Uh, his name is Link, but we always just call him Stinky. Ah, uh, Stinky. Is that a male or female? He's a boy. Oh, yes. He's, he's very stubborn, too. Oh, he... Can you show us clearly? 
Oh, hey. Yeah. Hi, Stinky. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I think today yeah. Mom Obama got a Oh my god. Today what? I'm alright. <laughs> <laughs> alright. Okay, um all right. we, we, we're going to start in next uh, three minutes. So um Mr. Ritty, so I uh, have you connected to the Facebook page yet? Ready? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I copied the link like a voice chat already, and then I actually I'm, I'm ready to post it on a Facebook page, and if people are easily to connect with us, you know, join through the link. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. That, that's a good idea. Okay. Okay. You will. We have two minutes left to begin our program, and actually, okay, our guest speaker looks so handsome, Brother Kenneth, and <laughs> yeah, okay. Exactly. <laughs> Beautiful day. And I know. Miss um, Sukikao as well. <laughs> yes, hello. Oh, Bob. Thank you. All right. Um, so, uh, guys, so um, actually, it's my honor to be here uh, to be the moderator of uh, our E1 today. So, um, actually, we have uh, it's, uh, you know, uh, we, we have a, a special guest speaker, uh, Miss uh, Kenneth and Miss uh, Sukikao. So, uh, uh, Mr. Ruti, so today we're going to start, start it and we, we have another topic, another um, so topics that we're going to discuss and everyone here might be very interested, especially uh, 10 other participants who are here. So um, what we're talking about is about um, how do we learn English faster and avoid embarrassing mistakes. So um, that's kind of... Um, a bit, you know, uh, a bit higher level of um, English. So, uh, you know, and actually we have our native speaker and our uh, and the experience learning English, uh, Mr. Reti and Mr. Uh, and Miss uh, so Kikao. Can can I call you Kao? Well, oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Actually, my name is Kikio. Uh, you may refer to me as Kikio. Kikio, right? Okay. Yes, Kikio. Yeah. I pronounce your uh, your name, you know, it didn't correctly, but uh, I, I try my best. Kill, right? Kill. Yes, that, yes, you're right. Somebody, something, or <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, brother T, so can can we can can I start right now? Yeah, for sure, <laughs> please. <laughs> okay. okay. Can it can it so, have? Oh. Yeah, can it have only one hour with us because he actually made a beast Yeah. Now? All right, for sure. Okay, let's let's begin, yeah. brother. Let's begin. Okay, thank you, everyone. So, um, hi, everyone. Have you for uh, Canadian people? Uh, have you uh, enjoyed your dinner yet? I mean, have you uh, eaten your dinner yet, everyone? I, uh, it's eight yes. p.m. Right uh, it, now. Yeah. <laughs> I got home, and that was the first thing I did. So I think. So um uh, Kenneth um can can I know is it uh is it in the morning there over there? Yeah, it's uh I'm an hour ahead in the AM. Because oh. America is silly <laughs> and changes their time. Oh. Yeah. It's very irritating, <laughs> but okay. Yep. Yeah, AM. So um yeah, thank you so much. Um first of all, I would like to uh, I would like to have a guest speakers, Mr. Kenneth, um can can you please uh a brief, you know, introducing about in, in introduce about yourself, please. After that, Mister uh, uh, Mister Gil, you know. Sure. Yeah, I can <laughs> I can try. Uh, I'm. I don't really know what to say though. Uh, <laughs> I'm 34. I I work overnight. Uh, I enjoy talking to a lot of people from different countries, and I'm kind of a nerd. I know something about some things, and I don't know. I'm I'm pretty much the same as everybody else. Very go with the flow type. And yep. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so, uh, currently, uh, which which state are you staying? Uh, Georgia. Georgia. Oh, Georgia. Mm. Okay. 
thank, thank you, uh, thank you, Kenneth. How about uh, Miss Q? Can you uh, tell us a bit about yourself, please? She just. Oh. Oh, she just came back. Sorry, right. guy, I got um, that. Um, okay. okay, so good evening, everyone. Oh, my name is Konso Kikyo. You may refer to me as Kikyo. Um, um, I'm turning 20 this November. I am currently studying in the Department of International Study at IFL. Yeah, thank you. Uh, what, what day in November? I think it's late November. Oh, your birthday is late November. Oh, we're yeah. about the same. That's great. To know. <laughs> He left us. Okay. <laughs> Bad connection, brother. Um. Okay. Uh, yeah. Bad connection. Sorry about that. All right. Um, uh, sorry. Come back again. So this is uh, um, uh, really good. I mean, uh, my connection is uh, better now, now. So um, yeah. So shall 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 we shall we continue? Hmm. Sister Sakio already introduced introduce herself. So who's going to be next? All right. Um. Can first of all. First of all, okay. Okay, guys. Um, all right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Like, internet connection is not good right now, but I believe it's going to be better right now. And um, okay. So, you guys, if you don't mind, all uh, participants, you can open camera, please, and we can see face to face. This is like a great communication. Exactly today, we have uh, Father Kenneth as a guest speaker too, he's from America, and yeah, for sure, guys. And, uh, yeah, and today, topics, we actually got very special. We're going to be talking about um, how we speak English uh, like fluently, powerfully, or without mistakes, you know, anything else. And we got to know more about uh, what is this, like, the real study of native speaker, this, just like Kenneth, okay. So uh, the first question that I'm supposed to ask to Kenneth, all right, because uh, internet connection, is kind of better and not good uh, from Father Udam. So I can take place of that and can uh, be a moderator. So Father Kenneth, so you hear me clearly, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you so much. So I would like to hear from you first. And uh, that question is how you learn English exactly from, uh, because English is your natural language. And we would like to know because we all hear us uh, by non-native speakers, who likes to know more how you learn, how you practice it, and how you apply or avoid mistakes, you know, while you speak English, right? Well, I think as far as mistakes, I, I feel like it's inevitable. You're just, you're going to make them. But, you know, you learn from them and you don't repeat them after that. So, But I guess the short answer would be... Uh, practice just practice like crazy any opportunity <laughs> you get <laughs> go for it i mean i'm i'm not the best at learning languages so i mean i'm trying to learn thai but the the thing that's helping me the most is repetition like keep doing it and eventually oh. i mean one, one thing that helped me at least would be to say the word kind of funny like I learned the word black, it's tamput, you know, so if I say it kind of weird, uh, it helps me remember it and say it correctly, I guess. But that may not work for everybody, so just practice. Yeah. Um, yeah, nice. And uh, we would like to hear more from, we would like to know like uh, how you learn in America, especially I'm talking about you really got good um, experience of practicing the way you said it. Okay, 
we we need to practice a lot and then getting we get much better of understanding English. But uh, the next question is, uh, we would like to know like what's the education system that is it is it right like all people all American people go to school, get educated and there and they can speak much better or they can practice in the real life. No go to school, don't go to school, but just practice with their families, with their friends outside in our community or in your community. So the, is it possible to learn like that or, or what? Okay, could you add more about that? Uh, well, I mean, whatever works best for you. Uh, like if I was learning Spanish, I, I would practice with just anybody. Uh, you'll you'll learn quite a bit from school, sure, but I think real world communication is actually going to be better for you. That's that's just my opinion, though. Like if school works better for you, yeah. go with what works. Yeah, sure. So go to school sometimes it gives us a like, problem. It is not much do problem. Both. <laughs> Just do <Okay>. both. <laughs> sure. All right. And uh, brother, oh, sister Sukiu and also brother Dom, how's it going? Uh, I mean, about your connection, it's, it's much better. Can you open camera, please? Yeah, can stay up there here. Oh, no, it's not better yet for me, at least, yes. Oh, okay, okay, I got your situation. But, but that, that's I can talk, yeah. Yeah, sure. All right, and how about Brother Odom? Yeah, okay, so uh, by our guest speaker, like Brother, uh, Sister Sukio, she can't um, respond immediately or because internet connection is pretty down. So yeah, this is like pretty bad, but however, we still stay engaged. We actually like, yeah, can talk, but without open camera. So uh, brother uh, Kenneth, so could you give us more like a uh, great experience as you have, or you have learned about, okay, anything else that you would like to recommend for all uh, English learner, they should try to learn English, which is the better way that you, the other thing is, yeah, it's amazing that we have to follow or anything else. I would like to hear about your recommendation of learning English. Yeah. The best way to learn. general. I hate, I hate to keep saying the same thing, but just practice. Don't be don't don't be concerned if you make mistakes or uh, you know yeah. you, you just you know, like your accents strong or something. Just don't worry about that. Just keep practicing. I mean, worst worst case, like someone will correct you, and <laughs> you'll know. So I don't know. Yeah. That, that would be the best one. There's there's other things you could do, like different apps and stuff you could download on your phone, and you could listen to it over and over and over. Okay, I I understand better now. Uh, you know, just practice and use whatever tools you can get a hold of. Sure. So, uh, so what is the problem uh, that you think is mostly um, all English learners they probably make? It's kind of like they cannot avoid making mistake, right? That is just like the fact. We actually accept it. But, but what is the, the, the big challenge uh, that you think like um, you think like you got and you would like to recommend for us that we should uh, have better strategy or tactics? Right to fix that problem, that's just make it become more easier. Anything else that you think like it could be a big challenge for us? Uh, I think some of the English pronunciation, like the the sounds, are kind of unique to English. So that I see that as being a, a stumbling block or something you might have trouble with. Uh, mm -hmm. The grammar, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because. It, yeah, it, sometimes the grammar changes, and what, why, why is it this way and not the same every time? Sure. Um, and, and right, uh, you would like to add more? Okay, please keep going. Sorry. Oh no, you were saying. Okay, um, so uh, my next question is just like uh, because you know that is just like the common one that I got from every. English learner the guys to ask me, you know, when I try to learn, I speak English, somebody thinks like, hey, Roti, you got an like American accent. I think, I don't think so. But sometimes this could be like this because 
I learned watching American movie and sometimes I learn, you know, different style that I like. And but the question is, it's like, uh, do you know, like people, they, they think like they shy, they are shy to speak English app. So what is this like the great solution that we can help them, you know, to re re reduce off or cut off like being shy off and we can have like, you know, better engagements to speak English, you know, anything like that. So how to, to be brave to speak it? Rather than try to be shy, stay in class and talk with um, you know people, and they got a little sound low and cannot talk much better. But after, just like me, I'm here. I'm confident a lot, and I talk to you guys. I think it's like you know, this is a great time that I need to speak it, right? So we would like to hear yeah. from you then. What what is the solution that you can you can have first? It's like uh, uh, get rid of it's like being shy and getting like brave to talk. And, are you asking me? Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, don't don't sweat the little things when it comes to learning English. Like you're gonna make mistakes. It's okay. Just. I mean, it's it's yeah. fine. Just fine. don't worry about it. Like the the small stuff will come. Just just keep trying. And and like you said, you know, just. It, it's fine. Like, yeah. Oh, I yeah. may have to go here in a second. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, just take, take pride in it, I guess. Like, do, do the best you can. Sure, sure. Yeah. Okay. I can still All talk, right. but I have to. <laughs> Sorry about it. Yeah, proud of it. You actually take time with us and stay engaged and give us like, advice. Oh. I, Any recommendation? Like push. All right, thank you so much. So I want to back flex to um, Sister Sophia. Can you respond for right now? Sorry about that. Yes, I can talk. I'm sorry for the video. Okay, okay, good. I got you. So um, we would like to hear from you. Um, you know, the questions like how to speak English confidently, speak English without fear, speak English, uh, you know, like fluently or anything like that, that you would like to hear about. Your experience, all right. Anything else that you have done that you think like you can help people and people can easily understand your English. So, what is the point that you think like could be an interesting one to share to the people right now? Okay, thank you for the question. So, for me, yeah. I would not like consider for to myself as someone who's quite fluent in English, but I think uh, I think I can I like communicate. And we are understandable when we're prop, uh, like communicate, yeah. So for the for the beginner, my recommendation would be a lot of um listening and speaking. So mm -hmm. for example, like Ken Matt, he's just like in his society, like in surrounding his surrounding environment, they're speaking English, so it's easy for him. Or maybe he just said like okay practice. But for me as a, a second learner, I think we need a lot of um English. No 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 I'm sorry. Uh, listening and speaking. That's it. Like it's not that hard. Like yeah, yeah. just as much as possible. Like I understand. Uh, some people like their friend or family they don't speak English, but uh you can speak to anything your pet or whatever your plan or just talk to yourself. That that would help you quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And after you you develop, after that, uh, you may start it to do more of um, reading and writing. If you are uh interested, like you want to be work in a profession, no professional that require a lot of English. Yeah. So for for beginner only. A lot of listening and speaking. Yeah, yeah, my interesting. Uh, listens a lot and speak a lot, and um, you know, listens to video, listens to a podcast, or listens to um, English speaking section that you can find on YouTube channel, or you can find from any platform or social media. It's connect you guys a lot over there, and don't try to be silent. This is the case of the security she has to us, you know. Um, it doesn't matter, as Prado Kenner, he said it. 
you know, you, you guys make a mistake, it doesn't matter. It sounds like this is the common thing that we got and it's not just like the big challenge. Thing. Okay, for sure, you guys, when you got a mistake, like, oh, I want to speak English much, I want to speak English better, but what is the problem with all the time that I speak making mistakes? So you feel nervous, you become low, and you quit it, right? So now it's just like a great to develop your English getting better. So enjoy yourself and you know, be happy when all the time you speak English. Make sure that you are, you know, engaged. And since like, okay, people come here to talk to me and give me like point, share something, you know, this is for the benefits of speaking English. And you will feel yeah, like amazing, you know, you don't you don't be like the same of yourself because you know, just make a little bit mistake because I think it's like you never going to make mistake today, right? Today you make mistake. Don't be you know, like nervous, but try to make it again. If you make it again, your mistake has become a lot. I mean, a lot of mistakes actually day by day. I think it's like you will recognize what is this part of your mistake you have made before. And then you will change that. This is like all the manly work on the brand. This is our great system that you can learn English. Yeah, for sure. All right. Thank you so much, Sir Sakil, for that answer. All right. We would like, we would like to hear from Prado Udom right now. Is it possible, brother, to do internet connection? Hello, brother. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, brother. Can you hear me? So okay. Time. Yeah, I got you. Please. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Internet connection. A, a, a going, you know, plus um, two poor. And um, as well as uh, currently, I am in my hometown, so uh, the network connection it, it didn't smoothly, so um, it might be uh, affect to our um, streaming session. However, but I, I try try my best to um, you know uh, to join as much as possible. So um, can do, do you mind? Can you repeat one uh, your question one more time, please? Or do I need to answer anything? Yeah, right, right. Okay, of course. So um, I have a question right now for you. We would like to hear from you, like how you speak English, avoid making mistakes, and what is just, like the real problem that you face with, right? Two yeah. answers. Yeah. 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 Two questions to answer. All right. So um, that, that is a good question. Uh, actually, personally, uh, as I, you know, um, honestly, I'm not good at speaking or anything, but uh, I can say confident that um, I able to speak, but not really uh, good, as you know, uh, like as you and other people. But um, you know, I just uh, try my best. So um, for for what I, I I use normally is that um, to speak English without embarrassing is that um, just try to practice out, you know, um, practice mm -hmm. and practice. Again. So this is how we we we, we can um, you know uh, push or boost our speaking skill better and without uh, embarrassing. I, I used to um, honestly I I used to be I mean uh, when when I when I start speaking to my friends to my teachers so um, I feel so shame I feel shy mm -hmm. I I didn't expect that you know so my my friends just laugh at me and I feel so shame to them but when I recognize that English is just my second language and it it, it didn't affect to uh, you know to my my knowledge to my education so it didn't it didn't mean and it didn't mean that. If I speak English, not not good, so uh, it limit to my uh, education. So um, honestly, so uh, it's not a problem. Uh, that's why I keep myself that. Um, uh, <laughs> all right, hi guys. Okay, okay, yeah, so good. <laughs> all right, yeah, keep going, keep going. Sorry about that. Just like moving. Okay, no worry. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay, so. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, all right okay um, yep yep so uh um, all right guys so i i want you to go straight to the another question and to ask uh, mr <laughs> kenneth or uh, another question yeah. <laughs> and, uh, uh, misunderstand something <laughs> all right all right right cool that's okay just oh. like uh, the meeting you know um we just try to make it become more interesting and you know, for fun. I don't. I don't want you guys to go to the meeting and you know, I, I drop by the link and you guys actually join and listen to us. But the problem, like, you feel nervous. You feel like oh, I cannot open my camera because you guys speak English. I don't understand everything. So that is the case. All right, drop your problem down. Okay, make sure that you feel better. 
and open camera, see face to face, and you feel more confident to talk to me. Just especially to Canada and American people, right? To so you, you know, how uh, you know, she said, yeah, just like that way. So don't worry, you you gonna make mistake. That's that's okay. But remember that we not learn today, we learn, yeah, like unlimited day that we cannot count, right? Okay, so back to question. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say it, it, if it makes you feel any better, <laughs> I'm a native okay. speaker. I'm a native speaker, and I still make mistakes with English. Sure. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's just going to happen. But everybody's English here is really good. So if you, like, kind of feel bad about it, don't. <laughs> I, I, hear, I hear people here, like, I hear everyone talk, and I'm like, oh, my God, man, their English is so good. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, don't, Thanks, don't ever feel bad. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, um, back to brother Kenneth again. So we would like to hear from you more, you know, as much as we can, because we don't have like, you know, like a uh, time before have a native speaker give attention and, and try to stay engaged with us, you know, like connecting like this. And uh, we would like to hear from you like, uh, so um, about speaking English every day, I think it's like, um, you know, what is the problem like using slang, idiom, or, you know, any particular uh, expressing, you know, words that we, we're going to worry about? So what is the point that you will recommend us? Just, okay, anything else? So we will need to learn a lot of slangs or a lot of idioms that easily to understand about conversation between people to another country. Yeah. Um, I think it kind of depends on your group. Um, you're, you're probably safe with just learning a few, but I, I mean, anytime you hear something, you're like, well, huh? What, what does that mean? <laughs> I mean, someone will, someone will tell you and now, you know, but like me and my friends, uh, we don't use a whole lot of them. We just like, Hey man, what's up? That's like, we only use like maybe a handful. So. As far as slang goes, it, it depends on your group, you know, what they use. Um, or, I mean, you'll hear it in movies and stuff. I, I would just let that be kind of passive. Learn it as you learn it. If you hear yeah. it and you don't understand what it is, or, mm -hmm. ah, what does that mean? Just ask. Someone will tell you. But you don't have to really focus on learning all of it. Yeah. And okay. and some of some of it is like regional. Like we have some sayings in the south that you're not gonna hear up north and vice versa. So if let me focus on all of them and then you move to a part of America that doesn't use them or uses different ones and you'll <laughs> tear your hair out, man. <laughs> so yeah, exactly. just, just let it let it happen as it happens. Yeah. So exactly, guys, for example, now I'm Cambodian people, right? I, I live in, in Cambodia. So one day when I moved in America, I, I mean, like I got a job, I got um, education over there, I got scholarship 100%, I need to study over there, right? Keep uh, continuing my study. But in cases like when I communicate with American people or like all people in the United States of America, like in the case they use slang or idiom. So that's kind of a big problem. And for me, okay, based on to brother Kenneth mentioned, Kenneth, okay, opinion said it, no worry, all right? Just take it easy, okay? People are not going to use that all the time because it just only feel better. You guys feel better mood. It just seems like, okay, this is a group of mine. When I talk to them, I use a little bit slang because, yeah, people easily to understand each other. But when you guys come from other country, they actually understand you completely. They got to understand that, okay, because the point is, making sense, all right? Not going to use slang and make you a little bit misunderstanding. So it's not a point, don't worry about that because a lot of people ask me that, hey, Ruti, like, so is it, is it important that I need to learn slang, idiom or anything else? Okay, if you meet all of them, keep learning. But if you don't need, that's okay, fine, all right? So yeah, solution is discovered, all right. Okay, so we'd like to hear from Sister Kui uh, again. Um, yeah. Anything else that you that you you know we would like to hear about your point of view related to um, 
you know, like a factor of practicing English. They think like, wow, can many people can do like uh, other countries? Yeah. Anything else, the key? We would like to hear from you, like the key we can practice English. Okay, I know that uh, a lot of people, they watch movies, they listen to different type of uh, podcast, you know, like radio station or anything else. So what's the key that you think like we can do that based on our favorite thing? We would like to know from your personality, your personal practicing it. Yeah. Again, from me, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. I think, okay, first of all, don't think it is hard because naturally it's not hard, okay? It's not a big of a deal, so take it easy. And like I said, a lot of listening. If you're a beginner, a lot of listening, a lot of speaking, and when it's come to practice, I, I understand the fact that when, uh, for Cambodian people, when we don't speak a perfect of, of a language we usually like make fun of each other they think it just it's just a joke it's not that much it's not that hurt like that much of things but uh in fact it is uh some to some people like when they are being moke for their their speaking they kind of like holding back they they don't want to talk anymore uh, mm -hmm. but however i encourage you all just 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 do it yeah, like just do it. You you don't just need do to care about their opinions, and I think that's why I said a um, lot of practice. It doesn't matter. It doesn't necessary to be with your friends. It doesn't necessary to be with the human being. You can just talk with yourself because you know sometimes like our friends they don't like with us all the time, and so talking to yourself, talking alone, it's maybe a good thing. Mm -hmm. People might 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 call you like psychotic, but yeah, just keep going. It's it's you who gonna enjoy the the result. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. No, I would like to add a little bit. So like, yeah, yeah, you are really passionate about learning new language, about being able to speak English. Just go ahead. You don't need to care about what other people tell you. And one more thing, if they tell you English or Chinese or whatever language they heard, like it's not easy to speak. Just don't don't believe them. It's not that big of a deal, like I said. It's just a language, okay? Take it easy. Yeah. Um speak more of it day by day and you will make it along the way. Yeah. All right, speak day by day. Don't worry about that. Just take it easy because it's just only language. It's not a goal. <laughs> You're going to stay have a company. <laughs> okay. No, just kidding. All right. This is making fun. <laughs> right. Who? Cool. I believe. I mean, I agree to your opinion completely because somebody they feel like, okay, English is so complexity. I learned English for years and I feel nervous. I think it's like, oh my God, I want to quit it. I want to get out of here because English gave me a lot of problems. So don't feel like this, just take it easy, you know, people talk to you, hey, hello, hello, anything like that, you take, you know, take time to communicate with them easily. But if you feel like, you know, more complexity, take to relax. I mean, go to relax and don't try to force yourself, even though you don't understand. For example, when you got complexity conversation, like a guy use English very advanced level and you don't understand everything, because the more you talk, the more you misunderstand it. So what you gotta do with this situation? Don't talk anymore, right? Just make it easy and then ask simple questions. Because it's like, if you guys just make it very e easy understanding of conversation, just use simple words, all right? Simple conversation. That's going to make sense. If somebody feel like, oh, good, you, you talk English is my better. I can understand you, something like that. But I think it's like, this is the problem. If you understand English a little bit, and then you try to use the very advanced vocabulary. It's not recommendation, you know. It just make you more harder and harder. And you feel like, you know, you, you don't have any passion anymore, you know, to, to keep that way. So you're gonna quit it immediately at that time. Yeah, so this is my recommendation because I talked to Ken out, he can understand me perfectly, I mean, professionally, anytime, you know. So he's my product. That's why I think, you know, a lot of people, not only him, I got, um, you know, like, 
foreigners a lot on the world, like a guy from Brazil, like um, Iraq, the guy from America too. Okay, they talk really easy to understand. So in this case, try take it easier, okay? Just make sure that you can balance yourself. I mean, uh, make sure that, okay, did you talk something, you misunderstand the point, just repeat it, okay? Ask you to repeat, don't afraid, to, don't be afraid asking the like invitation, I mean, yeah, talk, asking them, hey, uh, can you repeat it again, please? Yeah, it's not going to be bad, but if you try try to like, you try to be okay with them, but the point is misunderstanding. So that is the problem. Okay, so, all right, thank you so much. And uh, Prada uh, Udon, they actually here. They gotta leave. <laughs> Sorry, okay, maybe his connection. Interaction. So, um, okay, guys, this is time for you guys' question. Any question you can ask to Brother Kenneth for right now. Yeah. All right, Brother, Brother that, that what? Actually, my brother, okay, you joined here too. I'm really honored to have you here, Brother. <laughs> and Brother, oh, also, yeah, thank you. All together. Yeah. yeah. Okay, any question you can ask to Brother Kenneth right now, guys? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Be brave, Be you know. Okay. Be brave. Hello, uh, sorry, uh, please uh, ask question. Yeah, but if all of you don't have question, I will ask, you know, because I, I have many, many <laughs> questions to ask. Mr. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, thank sure. you. Okay, let um, me uh, ask you first, you know, I, I just coming, I, I, I didn't know, you know, or I, I didn't cause uh, previous question or answer or uh, your opening, but I just coming. So I want to just say uh, good evening. Yeah, to all of you, and uh, yet yeah, to be uh, honest, uh, venerable or respect from the stand, you know, from the possible. Okay, I am so yeah. happy today that I, I can join this uh, I, the first time or second time or third time, you know, for me. But uh, it's so super special tonight. Yeah, you know, it's great for us to join your listening to English speaker, mid native speaker, or non native speaker like Mr. Kenneth, you know, from the US. I'm, I'm so happy and proud of you. All of you yeah, that we have spent time, even though we are different, a little bit time. Yeah, you say in the morning and yeah, in Cambodia you say uh, good evening, right? But you, you make a time to join. <laughs> Spend a special time with us, you know. <laughs> to do it. So I, I have I have one question to ask you. You know, uh, you know, through my opinion or my experience, I used to meet already before. You know, and so far until now, I still. Uh, that's to, to ask you because uh, it make me, uh, you know, not uh, be clear about that, you know. But why uh, English is so important? Some people, they still study, you know, they won't study, but when they just uh, ask someone and then you, uh, we, we, we didn't, you know, uh, I mean that we don't have a uh, strong need to study and we, we have uh, a little bit, you know, power or energy and then they give up. So what is the policy that make they, them stop, you know, or just... Uh, yeah, they, their desire, the first is born, but in one week or one month later, they give up. Why? I, I, I wonder this point, you know. Because what is the cause it make uh, stop stop them to, to continue, your, like, you know, I mean that uh, from inside or outside? It's, uh, they, they don't know the, the real exactly, I mean that uh, the real uh, from inside, you know, they just study and then they, they give up. So it will be a problem in Cambodian uh, people. Not Cambodian people, but all, all the, the people come from over the world. Yeah? They don't ask the question to me, too, but I don't know how to answer. You know, I, I just give a bit to them or motivate a uh, word to them, but one week and later, they yeah, never speak English. They stop speaking, you know, and then they give up. So what is uh, uh, the real cause, you know? I mean, what is the real reason why they, they give up and then they never uh, continue their you know, desire to, to become a... Yes, English teacher or yeah, English speaker or teacher of English. But they told me that the first, oh, I want to be a teacher. You know, I want to learn English. But one week or one month later, they give up. So what is the real cause that, that uh, make them stop like this, you know? So from through your experience or your idea, can you tell me about this or tell us about this problem? Brother Kenneth, you know, I want to uh, hear from you directly because I'm so happy to ask you, you know. <laughs> it's uh, it's yeah. my question, yeah. I've got it. Yeah, good it's question. my question. Yeah. Uh, okay. Thank you. I, I feel like there's a few things that might make you want to give up. 
uh, I, I, for, I don't know how to say her name, but she was talking about how some people will laugh at you for, uh, all oh, your English isn't good enough and they'll make fun of you. I don't understand why people do that. Like I, you could, your English could be terrible and I would still like, don't talk. I, I want to know what you have to say. Uh, I think maybe like from the outside, like people making you feel bad might make you like, well, if I'm bad at it, I should just stop. And no, you should keep going. <laughs> but I think sometimes you also tell yourself, no, I, I'm bad at it. And that makes you just give up. But the reality is it's not going to come to you all at once. You got to keep practicing, make mistakes. Mistakes are like the best teacher because you make a bad, bad enough mistake. You're like, Oh, don't do that. <laughs> you know? So you learn from it. But <clears throat> I feel a lot of it is people maybe making fun of you or something like that might make you want to give up. And then, uh, if you start telling yourself that you're bad at it, you start to believe it and it's not true. You you might be a beginner and that's okay. You have to start somewhere, but just keep going. Don't give up. Do a little bit every day. I don't know. That's my answer. <laughs> that's, okay. Thank you. That's the MB. Okay. <laughs> keep going. Yeah. Is that the best choice or the best way to learn English? Keep going. I mean, that we learn yeah. or speak every day, right? Speak, speak yeah, as I'm, possible we can, yeah, every day. Make, make it, it, enjoy it, make it fun. Like, find a, a group of people that you can talk to regularly, and when you need encouragement, one of your friends will encourage you. Or, I mean, they will if they're a good friend. But that's all you can do is step at a time. So just try to make it fun. Have fun with it. Yeah, just try to make fun. <laughs> okay, yeah. that, that is great. I mean, study something without funny, you can't go anymore, right? We feel like, damn. Yeah, that, when, that's when kind of hard. <laughs> yeah, we get a when it be, when it thing. becomes, yeah, I think when it becomes a homework assignment, you sort of like, it feels like work, but when you make it a hobby, it's a lot easier to do. It it doesn't feel like you're working. It feels like you're. Oh man, I'm having fun. So. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's the case. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I consider that too. I mean, like, yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, any question? Like, you can ask to Sister hello. Sophia. Okay, hello to uh, Venerable yeah. Mini Pong. Yeah. Uh, what is the question? Okay, please. Yeah, hello, hello. Yeah. Do you have any question, right? I have a question. I have one question. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking about my question. <laughs> so, uh, okay. when, when I try to yeah, practice, this practice with myself, like speaking in in front of the mirror, or I try to speak this, speak that, and Sometimes I freeze. What should I do to tackle uh, freezing? Oh, tackle freezing. Freezing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. What, and what helps me? Know. And sometimes I, oh. um, uh, like, um, I don't have a specific topic. And so when I try to speak, I freeze. Oh, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to talk about. Uh, okay, yeah. I got you, I got you. All right, so so let me expand about this question. He actually gonna gonna know more like you know when we got to speak English and then we we become frozen. I mean like stuck on about idea. I don't don't you know can't find the, any idea to talk anymore. So you feel like you wanna quit it and you things like what's going on? <laughs> what are gonna talk next? You forgot yourself, all right? And then. The way you look yourself in the meter, I, I think it's like okay, all English learners. When you would like to know more how your uh, how, how you um your performance. I mean, when you're on a meter, it just things like okay, how my face gonna be like, and how is my performance is gonna be like. You gotta think like this, okay? 
And not only like this, but when when we got to talk, you know, in、uh, a group of people, that exactly we're gonna be frozen our mind. It sounds like, oh, help me, please, God, I don't know what's going on to talk next. Like this way. Okay, proud of Kenneth. Can you actually like、uh, help us in that situation when we become stuck on our mind? You don't know how to talk next. Okay, <laughs> that's gonna be question.、Uh, well, if it's if it, I mean, kind of. Same thing I go through sometimes.、Uh, when you're stuck and you're,、uh, what do I say?、Mm-hmm. Well, just take take a minute and just breathe. Like, just try to not have stress.、Uh, one thing you might try. I mean, I, I don't know. This is just on the top of my head. Yeah.、Uh, make the conversation personal. Like, if you're not sure what to say.、Um, Ask someone about their hobbies because people like talking about things they enjoy, and that might start the conversation and go from there. I mean, yeah.、Oh, that's awesome. <laughs>、um, okay. I ask you one, 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 one question more.、Uh, okay, please. Okay. Choose to take. Should I choose a topic to talk, or should I? Talk about I、uh, speak practice with myself like say like this like this without、uh, target <laughs> without without golf speaking without golf or should I choose one topic to talk every day? Or, or okay. Speak, okay.、Uh, it, yeah. Yeah, I got I got the point. So sister Suki, I hope you can answer this、uh, question. Sounds like you know, is it is it like a better <laughs> important conversation? Sounds like. All the time when we got to talk or to speak to、um, our like audience, so should we prepare any topics to talk or just talk without any goal? I mean, any expectation? You don't expect to get what、um, from your audience, but just try to stay engaged and talk. Hey guys, let me let me come with you guys, and then I get I want to know more. Okay, what you're talking about? So yeah, that's why when you talk something, can I join? Okay, like this. I got a question. Right. So I think it's it's depend on you. It's so it it depend on your ability,、uh, whether you want to improve or you want to just have fun. Like Kenneth said, it it important to have fun and and learn at the same time. So it it make it less tiring, and you more loving it. Like you love it more about learning. Like you have more power. Like tomorrow energy to to go to school and take. And take the class again. I think it's depend on you if if、uh, which one you prefer, and it it depend on the contact as well. Like if if you are the exam is near, you might like put some specific topic and force put put yourself and your friends some pressures to do the work. But if you want just have fun, just talk about anything. Yeah, that's okay. Whatever you prefer. Yeah, whatever you prefer. Okay, so、um, yeah, like you got the question. Ah,、oh, got the answer. Sorry, I forgot. Like,、uh, who gonna ask? <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, hopefully you got、uh, the answer. I I gotta repeat that again. Just take it easy, and you know, just yeah, preparing something before you talk that's quite important. That means you prepare your mind. You prepare what is the point that you're supposed to get before. Okay, sounds like you you guys now you don't have any. Idea, okay. I announced officially in the group, like, "Hey guys, we're gonna have the meeting, like together with Kenneth with、uh, Sister Sakil." So you think, like, okay, this is an interesting topic because we actually have seen at the top of the message, it's gonna be about like、um, how to speak English better, how to avoid any mistake and anything. But if you don't have thinking about that, I mean, you have a thought anymore about that because it's like, okay, that's you know complexity. I just、uh, wait at that time and then. Wait to join. That's enough for me. No need to do anymore. That's okay. But if you have better like preparation before, you think like, okay, that's gonna relate to my problem about how I got stuck, how I learn English. When you prepare like that, that's gonna make the flow easily go faster. It's not okay. Compare two people. One guy actually got no anything on their mind. You know, they got empty of anything on their mind. So when they got to know anything else, it sounds like. You know, like the first thing for for them, it sounds like you know it's hard to move a little bit faster. 
but the other people they got something before already sounds like they mind the point they know anything else on the point so when you got to listen any point from you guys from the meeting or join attend the meeting so it's gonna feel like the the things are okay i got it second man you join it you listen that already so when you listen that again you feel like you have a better flows to go and you can move much better faster than before yeah this is like how different that we got from one no like understanding or just like no need to check and another one is you've got check that before okay so great all right um yeah any question a product possible <laughs> okay possible was supposed to ask the question all right yeah. you got yes, a question yeah. right. thank you for uh, this year this one yeah yeah, yeah you question, question. Okay. Possible. okay uh sorry like flexing sound okay um like you guys can have an equation yeah keep going we still have time like uh two minutes yes. left yeah. Okay, um, like you guys can have a uh, uh, some people they want to speak English, uh, but they don't know the word. So, how to summarize the word? We should read or learn by heart. Okay, we we should leave or we we learn by heart. Okay, um, Prater, can it, can, can uh, did you get a question? <laughs> Sorry. Do I have a question? No, no, no. Uh, you get a question from Prado. Um, oh, yeah. The the best way to improve vocabulary. <laughs> sure. Uh, or the that's the way I understand it anyway. Uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really super experienced with learning a language. Uh, I don't know what what I tried to do, and I don't know if this would work for everybody, but. Get one of those like word a day apps where you learn just a random new word every day. Or if something like, okay, I need to know how to say this specific thing, just review it throughout the day. Uh, repetition helps me a lot, but I mean, other people are going to learn differently. Go, go with what works for you. Just keep trying something new until maybe it, it helps. I don't know. I'm not a professional teacher. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. oh, teacher, teacher, sorry, teacher. I have one one question here. Yes, I, I have play, one question. Um, because, like uh, nowadays, I am a person who kind of. Uh, forgetful person like when I try to memorize the word and it's easy for me to forget it and sometimes it's a quick easy a quick a quick forget how should yes. I to, uh, uh, I have the same problem word, mem remember <laughs> okay. word for, or vocabulary for a long time what should I do what the only thing that helps me is so it just practice the same word like a thousand times eventually you're going to remember it so that's the only thing that helps me is just just say the word a thousand times oh yeah like uh, the words in a uh, in the newspaper it's it's hard to uh there's a lot of tiny words and a hard word so it's Sometimes when I, I try to memorize it and it's uh, it's easy or it's quick quickly to forget. Um. Well, I think if you're if you're reading a newspaper and you're having trouble with certain words, just remembering them. It's okay if you don't remember all of them or. As long as you can kind of get the gist of what's being said, you know, you're, you're doing fine. Just maybe, I don't know, pick one word that you're having trouble with and just keep practicing it. And then go back maybe the next day and find another one. Just what helps me, and that's all I can really tell you. 
just keep saying the same one. <laughs> and eventually it sticks. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah. Is there any questions? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, have uh, teacher, could, could you hear Hello. Me well? no. Um, which one? Sorry, uh, I got like you guys got speak parallel yeah, like yeah, the same uh, like yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my, my name is Vic Ball here, and I, I, I first of all, would like to say thank you to all uh, the, the, this distinguished uh, speaker for today for uh, giving the uh, uh, the useful tip for uh, improving English speaking as well as uh, to improve uh, uh, English ability. But hmm? but also I, I I have also one uh, one question regarding uh, uh, in action, and I think this is very. Uh, uh, a difficult, or we can say, a, a, a barrier for English English learner. Then, uh, when we uh, speak uh, English, when we don't know the action, we pronounce the word uh, properly. We uh, miss the word. Uh, uh, we miss the words and not uh, pronounce the word correctly. We probably uh, uh, got confused. We cannot understand uh, uh, with one another. So. My question is that so uh, how to uh, uh, and, and one more thing just just want to add more like they are merely uh, uh, English action uh, like in, uh, like the, the U.S. action and British action or sometimes Australian action. So my question is my question is that like, how to improve English action and which one uh, uh, is uh, considered as the, the best English action that we should uh, follow? And yeah, thank you for uh, for that. <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much uh, for the question. And all right, I think like Product Connect can help. <laughs> the best accent uh, in the world. <laughs> yeah, the best accent in the world. Okay, I don't know. That's going to be, but can it know? It's American. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, it, I mean, Cambodian accent, right? <laughs> I, I actually, I like Cambodian accent. I, I like uh, every accent. They're all kind of different, you know? Yeah. Uh, as far as the best English accent, that uh, that's gonna vary person to person. Like some people really like the British accent, some people prefer American. Go with the one that you like. <laughs> that's that's it. Yeah. Uh, as far as getting better with your accent, that's that's when you do like you take your time. Take a lot of time learning how to say like specific sounds like the th sound is very difficult for some people just take take as much time as you have to just keep repeating it and if you just still have trouble i mean i can try to make a video and send it to riddy and he can post it uh but yeah just ask someone like hey can you help me with this sound or this word or something and yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you so much, Prada Prada Kenneth. So uh he repeat that again, guys. Did you probably got struggled how to pronounce like T X sound or not only T X sound, you know, the whole consonant in vowels, vowels in American mm. pronunciation, what you got? It sounds like you, you guys T X sound not easy that we need call to pronounce it correctly. That's like totally. Yeah, right. Thoroughly, automatically, something like that. So, product connects can help you guys. You probably have the problem like that. So, yeah, let us know in the group. Like, hey, connect, can you pronounce TX sound for me, please? And then, connect's gonna do it for quick, <laughs> right? For real quick. Yeah, or, or just anytime you're worried about your accent. I, I think it's okay to have an accent. I, oh, it's, you know, it's interesting. It's different, but yeah, if you just you want to get better at accent just with anything just take your time with it and and just repeat it over and over and over and yeah i mean step at a time yeah okay uh may you get something from kenneth <laughs> uh Prada. yeah you guys Okay, so uh, you don't mind, you know, like how to respect, as I told you, like uh, yesterday night, you get as a question, I think like open camera that's really respectful, 
But in case that you cannot open your camera, that's okay. Right? Okay, thanks. Thank you so much for uh, the questions. And we would like to hear more because, you know, in this meeting, we're supposed to help you guys about English problem. We would like to hear from you. Okay, what's going on that you face today? And like, as you go, you achieve something, you know, very big of uh, learning English for sure. And okay. I don't know that you guys have uh, any question. Okay, can voice <laughs> right now. <laughs> okay, for sure. No question. All right. No comment. No comment. <laughs> no comment. Uh, That's funny. That makes me think of something I said to my boss one time. Um, I okay, I told my I boss. Like to... uh -oh. <laughs> so, yeah. Sorry. You guys have a question? Sorry, can I get to add another story? <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, I was going to tell a silly story, but a question is better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Q, uh, you, you may have a question I don't expect, but can ask to brother Canada whatever it is you're supposed to know. I don't know. Oh, uh, well, it's, it's kind of silly, but I told my boss, I have a question. You're smart. <laughs> he's he's <laughs> like, it's not a question. <laughs> With the whole like uh, a comment or a statement someone said earlier. Yeah, you know, I I remember one story. Sorry about that. Interrupt you guys. But when I study at school, yes. and I say, you know, I sit on a chair, and then my teacher explain everything to me, and finally I got no question. So <laughs> what's gonna strain the lesson is right? You actually supposed to get something from teacher, but teacher need to reply. I mean, identify or confirm that you got something from him or her. But actually, you know, lastly, I got nothing of question. So, yeah, actually, the laser is completely gone. And I don't know what's going on next because uh, teacher said, you guys listen to me the whole thing from the beginning to the end and you have no question. It doesn't smart. <laughs> it doesn't... <laughs> OK, yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe maybe see if the class is following. <laughs> yeah. All right, sure. But anyway, I, I got to get going, but uh, I had fun and I hope I helped somebody. Uh, there is uh, a, a lot of good things said okay, here. Nice. Yeah, I mean, just keep uh, going. My friend, my friend uh, depend on me to ask you because he just started uh, learning English for maybe one and a half month. And uh, you like depend on me that it ask you that what should uh, what should he does to uh, reach the top <laughs> reach to the uh, top, reach, reach to the top. Uh, and where, where does he start uh, start uh, where, where should uh, where should uh, he start hmm. where should he begin uh, to learn english uh well I have trouble with Cambodian names. I, I don't know how to say her name, and I feel bad, but she had a really good idea. Uh, lots of listening, and I, I forget what else she said, but uh, I think listen, like, I fully agree with that. And just practice. Even if you make mistakes, it doesn't matter. Like, I, I mean, at least with me, I'm not going to make fun of you or anything. So, yes, sir. listen my, and practice. Friend, he's, a, uh, he's concerned a lot about the grammar. Yeah, grammar can be uh, awful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. Just, I mean, try. Try to learn and try to do it correctly. But if you make a mistake, you'll, you'll eventually learn not to make it. Like, oh, okay, you don't use... You use this grammar in this situation. So I wouldn't sweat it. Just, I, I would say, like, my biggest piece of advice would be focus on communication. Like, if you can understand the other person and they can understand you, I don't care if your grammar is off. I understand what you're saying, so I'm, I'm cool. Cool. Yeah, that's uh, the best idea. Oh, the best idea. Okay. Should I have the best idea too, right? 
<laughs> no, just kidding. Just kidding, right? <laughs> no, just kidding. So good. Okay, Susan, you have an equation, guys. I don't know how to uh, call your name, guys, because a lot of you guys join right now. <laughs> yeah. No question. <laughs> no question. Oh, if Susan, if I'm gonna go. We may be kissing. Okay, Kenneth, he's he gonna go because yeah, uh, yeah the time. Sorry, dude. Yeah. Anyway, everybody yeah. have yeah. a good night. Bye bye. Yeah, see you next time. Hey. Yeah, see you. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> yes. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, so don't worry. Uh, okay, so don't worry. Uh, yes, you uh, can mute your mute mute yourself for a second. Yeah, you don't have an equation. So it's like, if I let you guys to talk and you can open, like, unmute yourself, like you can talk, that's going to make a little bit, uh, you know, like, properly work. But if you, like, open or, like, uh, unmute yourself, like you talk, you know, while somebody talk to, and that's going to make a big background become noise. Okay, so uh, we got uh, Sister Suku here, the our guest speaker. Uh, can he get a go? Because, yeah, he informed me before. The meetings, like, he got to do some stuff, you know, like the time, maybe nine. He got only one hour for talk, so we can, yeah, we as much as we can, as to Kenneth. So, yeah, hopefully you guys can get some points. But right now, you still have chance to ask to Sister Sukio. I think, like, she's good at English, very good. And you guys can ask her anything out, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah? Hello. She, she... Hello. Mm -hmm. Feel free Hello. to ask Hello, Yes, hello. Uh, hello, uh, Sister Sukiu. Hello. hello. Yeah, uh, I want to ask you about uh, some question. How how to improve uh, writing skill? Okay, okay. I think writing. Uh, I when it comes to writing, it's important with the vocabulary. So a lot of reading would help your writing. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I hope that's helpful. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Any question? Oh, Prater is that one? Okay. You stay here so long, my Prater. Any question? <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, you hello. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Hello. Get, get your open camera, my man. No, it's not really. I'm sick oh, right yeah. now. Oh, you're sick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, I, I have no idea, but you guys did a really good job. Yeah. <laughs> That's all for me. So, Kyo did a great job. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe too. Uh, yeah, me too. Prado, possible. Okay, you guys can ask the uh, Prado possible. You can ask to assist uh, the Kyo. You know, any opinion? We still have like uh, 35 minutes more because we're gonna end up meeting around 10, right? Hopefully you guys stay engaged. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, you know, uh, any question, I don't know that you got, but hopefully, yeah. Stanley, hello. Yeah, hello, chair. I, I asked yeah. yeah. all of you a lot. Hello. hello. Okay, I, I got I got uh, Sangley right now and Prouder Venerable. Okay, I will talk. I will ask you a finish just like uh, ask to Sangley. Okay, Sangley, any question? Hello? <laughs> we have connection, yeah. Sangley? Okay. Excuse me, I just joined. Can you talk what you ask me? <laughs> okay, uh, we've been talking about uh, English problem and how we practice English, avoid making mistakes embarrassingly or, you know, anything else that we learn English that you got as a big challenge that seems like you have to fake it out. You cannot wait because that could be the big problem and make you much down. You cannot go anymore because of your problem. Okay, so we have heard a lot of uh, solution from Prado Kenneth you know, but not detail, I think so. But I believe you guys can get some pouring from him, you know, like don't 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 be afraid of making mistakes. If you do mistakes, no worry, just keep going, okay? Day by day. But I believe one point that okay. If you guys ask me, hey Rutti, how to speak English better? 
All right, I recommend you offline. I show you the key. I show you the method. You got a method? Keep going. All right. But the point is, if you got my method, you got my point to go, but you never be active. Okay. You down. It's not the real, it's, it's not, you know, like funny. If you got the point, so I recommend all here. If you got American English or you got British English, whatever that you supposed to learn or get better of them. But the point is, try to be active, you know, speak it, go to speak it out. If you low of speaking, go to speak it. If you, you know, you got low of listening, go to listen, listen whatever that you can. Not going to listen out of your ability. Some things like somebody talk from the radio, you would like to hear more from them, but your ability is limited. You cannot listen something much more stronger because your ability. So need to be aware of your situation right now. So which level that you are? When you recognize, you found yourself that, okay, I'm at here, I'm at the right point, I'm at the left point, or I'm the middle point. So when you recognize your point, let's begin. So here is where you will begin. But if you got no point, you don't know which level I am, where are you going to begin? You begin nothing. So that is just like the problem. I recommend all you guys, if you got no goals, you learn English, you don't know who you're going to be, right? You don't know who you're going to be. It sounds like I want to learn English because I want to be English, uh, teacher of English or anything else. Maybe a doctor, like journalist, okay, anything like that. But this is a problem when you got no girl and you learn English. You learn English for fun, that's okay. But you will be lost immediately and you become depressed. You will become nervous, you know, anything else because you are not exactly what you're gonna do. That's the point. And that's gonna make you have psychology because, okay, I will tell you more like how you can define yourself as, as a power. Don't try to make something more passive inside of you because it's not going to work. But if you try to be active with the real goal and you got something for clear to do that, okay, you're going to go faster. But if you actually, you don't know, okay, anything else, you get nothing. At least, okay, I understand. You can buy American and you can understand something little, but not much because you have no goal, because you have no specific methods to practice you guys go to school your teacher show you hey practice it okay do exercise good you come home you return home nothing because you are not trying to be active okay that is about passive that has come to you all right you get a point yeah any questions you can ask right now that i can respond i can answer uh, sorry brother t uh I have no question, but I have a uh, add more idea about this you know, problem. Oh, please, I have uh, one idea or more idea, you know, because I think it's so great today. Uh, this is a problem, you know. I'm I'm have meeting also when I speak to someone or when I meet someone. I afraid, you know, me that I scared to open mouth to speak, and I saw them. Oh, they are beautiful or handsome. than me, they make me you know, disappointed or some feel down. The first, I'm so strongly to do, but when I meet them, or oh, and one week later, my feeling is down, and 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 turn back to uh, you know the become weaker and weaker. You know, it's, it's a big problem. So how can we do that? If you want to speak, if you want to uh, learn English, the first, yeah, you should know yourself. What level are you in? You know, what level are you in? And what is your you know, uh, what is your desire that you want to be? I mean, that what uh, is your goal? What is your clear goal? If you are strongly, you know, you should, uh, yeah, you should follow your, your goal and then you keep uh, activity, yeah, learning from other people around you and learn from uh, other, you know, or internet or YouTube because it's new technology, you know, easy for you. And, and, and the first thing you should do is, uh, you know, burn your desire. What do you want? And then you keep uh, or learn any technical way to, or technical tip to, uh, yeah, I mean that your own, you know, from them and, I know uh, you, you. You have known yourself clearly. What level? I mean that what uh, your is knowledge. You know, you, you you can understand, but you listening some. What you understand or not? I mean that you are beginner. You cannot listening to uh, upper uh, I mean, book or yeah. I mean that uh, high uh, you know high so that the yeah, people they said uh, it's high level. You cannot understand. So you can turn back to listening a beginner. You start from beginner. You know because you yourself be clear about that. It's uh, the, the real. You know. 
it is real uh, reality yeah it mean like that so we need to start from beginner and and one more thing you know if you keep learning and then should uh, motivate you should know uh, from inside your energy what do you want if you happy to do something you are want to do but if you unhappy mean that you follow your friend you follow other the people around you and you follow your feeling you don't know what do you want from your inside it mean like that so you should uh, burn or know about your desire exactly from inside you know it from energy power it's the first thing you should do if you are happy to do you want to become mean that, mean that even though you meet the problem the middle way or you know any problem in pro- happen in front of you you not quit you just uh, just stop and then you find a good solution or you ask someone right it means that you keep going so you have strongly to do yeah you have strongly to do it means like that so if you want to do something is uh, without stopping you should know from yourself inside I mean that you call a psychology yeah psychology is so important you know you learn from your your mindset you, you learn from your 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 thinking you know your thought inside that uh, we call uh, you know mindset if your mindset thing a, no, a negative maybe you yeah you, you don't want to do something like you lost uh, energy you lost uh, power to do so you stop in me like that if your your power inside you have strongly you you want to do something without stopping you keep going you meet the problem you keep going you know this is the re- reality in, in our life so we need to motivate ourselves first if you want to become you want to motivate or appreciate yourself and learn from inside you know what do you want exactly here yeah, me like that it's so all this because of ourselves in the 90 percent because of ourselves yeah someone can uh, yeah give you a message but if you do or not do we don't know right so someone cannot force you to do like this like that yeah it's up to you and then you give up because yourself no one cannot help you if yourself don't have yourself first yeah it is a real problem yeah from inside from yourself so we need to find a root cause from inside from yourself oh what do you want yeah i know you oh you want to learn english but what do you want to become teacher of english that letter or a guy yeah that's okay but if you want if you know clearly like this you can you know do it step by step or learn every day because the uh, shortcut way you know shortcut in the to be success is not uh yeah not short not uh, one day or one month yeah keep going and uh, learning like uh, mr kenneth said you know keep going and learning without stopping without giving up yeah so this is the uh, it's my opinion i can't i just add about this yeah maybe all of you understand okay thank you so much for your listening yeah thank you so much yes, brother um, yeah brother possible it's really important message you know related to like how we we learn it from our like this is like something inside it's like in our body we just learn something without taking your problem that's gonna be bad just by all you know at all times i recommend you make sure that You know, learn English is not the problem. You got the power, you got energy to go faster. But the point is your problem, your mental problem. I'm talking about if you guys feel depressed, you feel, you know, frustrated, anything else that you're supposed to learn. So you will go slower and not much easier because something already keep you down. Because you don't understand something. You know, before I explain you guys with the both, okay? You got a both. And actually, you learn everything on the boat. But the boat probably attack a lot of problem that we can't see by our eyes. That is a problem for English learners. So, you know, be aware of that situation. You have to understand your mental feeling, your physical feeling. Not only, okay, I know that you got the powers to practice it. Okay, I said, hey, uh, Ruti said, it. go to speak English, speak it a lot, speak, speak, speak all the time, then you will be better. This is like, Okay, you can do that. But you have to dig out. I mean, check it out. What is the problem? That you try to speak it out, to speak it all the time, but it still keeps slow. Why you try to be slow? You know, without understanding yourself. So that's why I recommend, I highly recommend you guys back to check it out. What is your mental problem when you learn English? It's about your confidence. Could be the problem. It's about, you know, like, very and specific thing that you don't understand yourself so tries to find the solutions to fix it because things like okay you would like to practice i give you the key to go that's fine but you don't know what is the real problem keep you slow 
just like the boat. The boat goes slowly on the water. I mean, in the oceans, a boat actually keep on that. This is like you go, right? You actually on the boat and you keep going. But when the boats become very down, I mean, like a lot of stone under the boat, and as you know, you can't see that by your eyes. Sounds like your mindset or the bad. You don't have a good mindset. When you learn English, it seems like my English stupid. My English is under development. I cannot grow anymore because it's probably down ever when I learn English. I think like I can't speak it, I can't write it, I can't listen it, and I can't read it. When you rely like this, this is about negative mindset, and also could be about your mental problem that you have to understand how to fix it. Okay, for example, when you actually understand about the stone under the boat, and then you use about some things to cut it, right? Cut about that problem off, and then your boat's gonna become. Easier. I mean, your boat will go faster because the problem already down. All right. So it's the point that you have to understand about your mental problem. This is important. Okay. I will tell you more about speaking English for skill. It sounds like you would like to speak English fluently. You will go faster. Anything else? But if you begin with real confidence, that means you actually choose the right psychology extra power. That means you go faster. Okay. Because your confidence strong, you got clear go, and then you speak. You try to speak it all the time or every day. You will be better. But if you have like low confidence, it sounds like you you feel like nervous. This is about mindset as well. That's why you need to fix your mindset at mindset at the first time. So when your mindset is become positive, and you can speak confidently, because you don't need to compare how my English is. No need to compare, because. The way you, the way you guys compare, you will have a lot of pressure, and then you can go faster, and your confidence become down. That's the key. All right. Okay. One more point because I supposed to write the book by my own self. It's about how to fix you guys' problem, and this is like my big um, challenge that I supposed to do in this year because I think like I have to write the book by my for myself. I think like that could be a big gift for you guys. Make sure that you can understand your problem, because I would like to fix for all English learner that you got. You learn English for years, you learn English for months, and you cannot speak English better. Your English a little bit down or not effective. Somebody listen much more misunderstanding. You know confusion. A lot of your speaking, a lot of your words, your vocabulary, your sentences, your phrases. That's the key. You have to check it out about that book, and I will take note all your problem. You know into that book that I supposed to create. Or state about that. Okay. Any question? Ah, <laughs> uh, brother Rotis, I have a question to ask you. That how uh, how the way to listen English effectively? Okay. So um, the way that we can listen English effectively, I mean, practice it. Really, um, yeah, like particularly. Uh, especially that you can go faster and you can listen something more easier. Okay, listen something that you think could be acceptable. Don't try out of your body. I mean, out of your ability. You just speak English. You would like to listen. Okay, for example, you begin from nothing. You don't know how to speak English. You don't know what the words or sentences other people speak. Okay, but if you supposed to listen something. Like a lot of more than your ability, you will be stuck. You can't find the ways to out of that, and you will lose your passion too. Because you know, people when they have the passion, stay focused, stay focused, and you will be stronger to grow. But if you don't focus, okay, you don't you you don't know how to stay engaged with that point, and then finally you will quit it automatically because you don't have any more attention or passion to study about that. So. The first point, you you need to make sure what you're going to listen is your favorite, is your favorite listening. For example, you guys, you like to listen like uh, tick, you know, TikTok. I mean, uh, um, TED Talk. Okay, any programs that's really important worldwide. You know, the podcast, anything else. For example, you like to listen something on YouTube. Okay, try to do it. Try to make sure because you. Spend all the time to listen about that, but anything else you don't like, so just don't do that. 
just do what you love to do. Okay. Make sure that you have a lot of, I mean, in this case, you're going to earn your passion of the object that you're going to do. So you got something on your object, much stronger. You think like, okay, I'm really good at it. Okay. And then you will learn faster. You can listen it step by step, point by point, low, little, okay, to stronger. Okay, like that. So the key that you guys um, have to practice as well, just make sure you have a better schedule. I mean, set a schedule, like the morning that you're supposed to listen to the radio or anything else that you can, all right? And stay engaged. Don't try to be passive. Keep, keep that to be active, all right? Listen every day like this, like that. Okay, enjoy. And, you know, like uh, the important strategies, strategies can help you just change your mind, change your system. I mean, uh, translation is not effective. Change your translation and you can learn something by using English only. And you will grow much stronger by this case. All right. You got a point? Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, sister, yes. Okay. Sister Sukir, you can add, you can add more about that. Just like how we learn uh, English by listening effectively. Listening effectively. What does that mean, mm -hmm. listening effectively? You can listen something much stronger. I mean, like, uh, like your like, your skill, like, yeah. like you got everything they say. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. I think to sum up a little bit, um, please don't make it as if it is a big thing. Okay, so some him Have you ever seen people who can like speak child like a small child? If anyone remember at all, she's like five or six. I I don't remember clearly, but she can speak like seven or six language. Like, do you wonder? Like, she is six and she can speak seven language, and I am like some people like I do chanting. Like, you are older than her, and then. Just English alone make you stronger. My theory is there's nothing. It is hard. It's just that you do it the wrong way. It's not that English is hard to learn or to pick up. It's just that you do it the wrong way. Oh, but remember, it's okay to make mistakes. So, again, it's not that hard. Like, it's not hard to pick up a language to be able to to speak English. So take it easy, sit down, <laughs> like calm down and take it easy. So again, for beginner, a lot of listening and a lot of speaking. And later on, you can read more and write more if you want, if you're gonna be like in a professional that need a lot of English communication practicing. So um, I think if you are in a, a good system, like, in a uh, English school where they have good system, they they group you in in the group that appropriate to your level. Um, it's good, but um, in countryside, it's kind of a little bit hard because they don't have a proper measure to measure your ability and put you in the right group. But that's okay; <clears throat> you still can do something about it. Um. Again, I don't think you need to, first of all, if you are someone who have a, a specific, like, you mean goal more than I call you, chung, to can't eat, that tongue chung, to more than ang lay chung, and then we some can. Oh, I'm sorry, Allah. 